Hey everyone, welcome back to Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. 2011 Ford Escape. This one we saw, I think last year, it had a single cylinder misfire and we used the boroscope to find that I think one of the valves wasn't sealing. So now finally the, uh, the shop got around to replacing the engine. They got a used low mile engine for a good price from a junkyard. Popped it in, crank, no start. Uh, technician said he checked everything. We have everything, fuel pressure, ignition, spark. Still doesn't fire. So fastest way to verify everything as well as timing is to use an oscilloscope. Three channels. Channel one is on the ignition coil control. Channel two is on the injector. Channel three is in cylinder compression, all on cylinder one. Now, cranked it over, didn't fire up, and the problem is already pretty clear. Look at where the ignition's occurring. <laughs> Almost, you know, at the beginning of the compression stroke. Also, the cams, that looks a little unusual that the pressure is starting to drop and then comes back up. Like, the cams are, might be out of time. Um, what are the variables here? Could the cams be out of time? Well, we took the valve cover off, spun the engine over, and the cams, you can see those little cutout notches right there, are supposed to be aligned with the cylinder head. Also, the harmonic balancer, this dot is supposed to be at the 6 o'clock position when the engine is at TDC number 1. Now, Ford, in their infinite wisdom, decided to, hey, we don't need keyways or timing marks or anything at all. You have to get some special tools and we're going to just bolt everything together by friction. The crankshaft sprocket, the harmonic balancer pulley, they use diamond washers and wow, you know, there's no real, uh, it's not foolproof. So <laughs> when this engine was installed, the harmonic balancer was removed because, you know, to make room for it for clearancing and then just slap back on. So when there's no keyway and our, I mean, everything ha here has to be synchronized. The, this is the original engine. And you, as you can see, here is the crankshaft position sensor and we have our teeth. There is a sync notch, so that's very important. This is how the engine knows where, you know, where TDC number one is. So basically, that's our problem. The harmonic balancer, you know, the bolt was loosened, it was taken off, put it back on. How do we quickly and efficiently fix this truck right here, right now, just by service information without any special tools? Well, just look at some pictures. So if TDC number one on the compression stroke, this dot has to be down here. Okay, that's, that's one. The cams have to be aligned. That's the second piece of the puzzle because the sprocket that drives the chain is also loose on the crank that's not keyed until that bolt is tightened. So we have to synchronize everything. So step one, set cylinder number one TDC on the compression stroke. Okay, we did that. Now, loosen the bolt down there and we see the cams are not quite in time. You can use a wrench to turn the cams to get them approximately in time without turning the crankshaft. Okay, so that's step two. Step three is shifting this harmonic balancer around <laughs> until it aligns with six o'clock position. So let me just double check that everything's aligned. We'll buzz this bolt back down and this truck should fire up. I'm gonna buzz that bolt right back down. Good and tight, crush those diamond washers, <laughs> and let's throw this valve cover back on. I, I'm guessing this truck should just fire right up. <laughs> All right, Mike, place your bets now. Is this thing going to fire up? <laughs> you don't want to jinx it again. No. Uh, I'll get in here just in case it's a little flooded. All right, fire the hole. Wow, that actually sounds pretty smooth. Woohoo! Here it is. Perfect. Let's scan this thing for codes and move on to the next one.
Yep, just the P1000. So, again, we saw the power of the scope. Picture is worth a thousand words when each synchronization. And just OEM data. No special tools required. That's it. Thanks all for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.